Have you ever seen a helicopter on Mars before? Or have you ever seen just the surface of Mars before? Well, if not, then soon you will be able to see both of them. As NASA is all set to launch its Perseverance Mars rover mission in the month of July this year, a helicopter named Ingenuity, which really is not a helicopter, but maybe we can call it as a drone copter, is also going to be launched along with the Perseverance rover. It's very lightweight and capable of flying in the thin environments of Mars with only 37% of Earth's gravity. The main purpose of launching a helicopter on Mars is technology demonstration to test the first ever powered flight on Mars or even on any planet other than Earth. The helicopter will ride to Mars attached to the belly of Perseverance rover and the total blade span of Ingenuity will be under 4 feet or 1.2 meters with a total range of 300 meters. You can check NASA's official website for understanding more specification about the rover and the helicopter. On July 20, Perseverance rover will be launched into space on the top of United Launch Alliance's at the spy rocket from Kennedy Space Center. The Perseverance rover's astrobiology mission will search for signs of ancient microbial life on Mars. It will also categorize the planet's climate and geology, will collect the samples for future returns to Earth, and will pave the way for human exploration of Mars. The Perseverance rover's mission is a part of a larger program that includes mission to moon as a way to prepare humans for exploration of the red planet. Charged with returning astronauts to the moon by 2024, NASA will establish a sustained human presence on and around the moon by 2028 through NASA's Artemis lunar exploration plans. Perseverance mission's landing site will be at Jezero Crater, which was home to ancient river beds on the surface of Mars. As rivers were flowing through that site at some point of time, there might be a little chance of finding traces of ancient life. The data collected from NASA's Curiosity rover is used for designing this mission. And even the landing procedure is same as that of Curiosity. Curiosity mission was started in 2012 and still continues to send data to the Earth. If you want to view actual surface of Mars or watch actual snaps from the rover, please check the link given in the description below. I think this mission will be seriously challenging for NASA. As though they do have experience in sending rovers on Mars, but it will be the first time that anyone has flew a drone on Mars. And flying a drone is no joke. I can't even fly a drone here on Earth, as I don't have one. But even if I had one, I would have just probably crashed it on trees or just on open roads. Well, I hope you really liked the video. If so, please leave a like and share this with your friends and family. And to show your support for science, just subscribe to Science Today.